Patient Discharge Procedure Introduction The experience of hospital whether for a brief or prolonged period is one that makes a lasting impression on the patient. Patient is prepared for discharge when he is admitted in the hospital. He should be prepared physically and psychologically to leave the hospital ward and his her willingness to continue the treatment in futures. Preparing the client to leave certain activities is also very important. For example, salt restriction to heart patient. Definition Discharge of the patient from the hospital means, relieving the patient from hospital setting, who was admitted as an inpatient in that hospital. Hospital discharge is process in which the patient is allowed to leave the hospital after treatment. Discharge planning aims to Discharge is preparation of patient to leave hospital and to return to own environment. Patient is prepared for discharge when he is admitted in the hospital. He should be prepared physically and mentally to leave the hospital or ward. Discharge planning is the plan evolved before a patient is transferred from one environment to another. This process involves the patient, family, friends, and the hospital and community healthcare teams. Discharge planning is an integral part of the continuity of nursing care for patients throughout their hospital stay. Purpose To ensure continuity of care to patient after discharge. To assist patient to complete hospital formalities before returning home. To assist patient to return to a state of optimal independent living. To assist the patient in discharge process. To acknowledge patient's right in deciding to leave hospital. Reasons for discharge. Cured. Transfer to other hospital. Discharged at request. Discharged against medical advice. Death. Types of discharge. Patient is discharged from the ward as follows. Planned discharge. Patient completes the initial actual management in the hospital and now he or she need not to be under direct supervision of that hospital. Cured and discharged, when the patient is successfully treated over from the hospital. Relieved from hospital, i.e. when the treatment is over under the hospital capacity. Lama, left against medical advice. Doctor asked the patient to stay continue treatment. Patient patient's relatives did not inform their plan of leaving the hospital, but they left suddenly, but the hospital was aware of them going out and the time patient left. Doctor had said that taking the patient out may endanger life. Patient patient's relatives did not sign anything. Hospital may not give any discharge summary. In fact, patient may not have discussed with the doctor hospital about going out. Since the doctor, either directly or through other paramedical staff, knows the time the patient is going out, it should be recorded as, patient left against medical advice. Dama, discharged against medical advice. Doctor has clearly explained that taking the patient out may endanger life, but still patient patient's relatives want to take the patient to some other hospital. They signed a declaration saying that the risks were informed to them by taking the patient out of hospital, they are immediately endangering the life. Hospital gives a discharge summary. Door, discharge on request. It would mean that the patient requested to be discharged and the doctor discharged him. Here the doctor does not commit any illegality. As a matter of fact, very often patients are routinely discharged on request and, mostly, such discharges are not against medical advice. Referral discharge. The clients can be referred to a hospital for special care, suited to his needs. E.g. From primary health center to district hospital. Transfer discharge. Transferring a patient refers to that. Patient may require transfer either from the unit to another unit or to another health care institution according to the condition of the patient. Internal transfer. To transfer the patient in a unit that provides special care. E.g. From general ward to ICU. External transfer. To transfer the patient from one hospital to other hospital for the purpose of special care. E.g. From general hospital to specialized hospital. Absconded. Patient went out of the hospital without doctors or other staff's knowledge. Hospital does not know that the patient left and they do not know when the patient left. They found out during next rounds. 
patients may not have discussed with the doctor hospital about going out. It is wrong to write, for example, that the patient absconded at 7 pm if the doctor, either directly or through other paramedical staff, knows the time patient went out, it is not absconded, it is left against medical advice. Death. Patient may expire during hospitalization. Discharge procedure. Equipment. Wheelchair. Unless the patient leaves by ambulance, patient's chart, patient instruction sheet, discharge summary sheet, plastic bag or patient's suitcase for personal belongings. General instruction. Prepare patient and family during hospitalization with adequate information in relation to probable date of discharge, approximate inpatient bill and relevant home care. Departments to be informed. Drug return to pharmacy department. Diet cancellation. Oxygen ventilator charges summary. Accounts department. Billing section. Preliminary assessment. Check doctor's written orders for discharge. Inform patient and relatives about discharge. Document relevant discharge information. Make sure all the fees are included such as special investigations, special matters or devices, doctors or surgeons fees and drug used, if any. Obtain discharge prescription after retaining the medicines to be continued for that day and after discharge. Send all other continued for that day and after discharge. Send all other medicines for refunding, include ward replacement. Send chart to billing section with relevant information. One bill is ready and chart is received back in ward, ensure that bill is settled. Check the cashier's signature in the discharge bill. Help the patient to obtain discharge summary, medical certificate and drugs. Ensure that patient is instructed regarding medication follow-up, outpatient visit, etc. Accompany the patient up to transport near exit gate. Procedure Before the day of discharge, inform the patient's family of the time and date of discharge. Obtain a written discharge order from the physician. If the patient discharges himself against medical advice, obtain the appropriate form. If the patient requires home medical care, confirm arrangements with the appropriate facility department or community agency. On the day of discharge, review the patient's discharge care plan, initiated on admission and modified during his hospitalization, with the patient and his family. List prescribed drugs on the patient instruction sheet along with the dosage, prescribed time schedule, and adverse reactions that he should report to the physician. Ensure that the drug schedule is consistent with the patient's lifestyle to prevent improper administration and to promote patient compliance. Review procedures the patient or his family will perform at home. If necessary, demonstrate these procedures, provide written instructions, and check performance with a written demonstration. List dietary and activity instructions, if applicable, on the patient instruction sheet and review the reasons for them. Check with the physician about the patient's next office appointment. If the physician hasn't yet done so, inform the patient of the date, time and location. Retrieve the patient's valuables from the facility's safe and review each item with him. Then obtain the patient's signature to verify receipt of his valuables. Obtain from the pharmacy any drugs the patient brought with him. If appropriate, take and record the patient's vital signs on the discharge summary form. Notify the physician if any signs are abnormal such as an elevated temperature. Help the patient get dressed if necessary. Collect the patient's personal belongings from his room. After checking the room for misplaced belongings, help the patient into the wheelchair and escort him to the exit. If the patient is leaving by ambulance, help him onto the litter. After the patient has left the area, strip the bed linens and notify the housekeeping staff that the room is ready for terminal cleaning. Special considerations. Whenever possible, involve the patient's family in discharge planning so they can better understand and perform patient care procedures. Before the patient is discharged, perform a physical assessment. If you detect abnormal signs or the patient develops new symptoms, notify the physician and delay discharge until he has seen the patient. Documentation 
record the time and date of recharge. The patient's physical condition. Special dietary or activity instructions. The type and frequency of home care procedures. The patient's drug regimen. The dates of follow-up appointments. The mode of departure and name of the patient's escort. A summary of the patient's hospitalization, if necessary. After discharge. Record time, date and condition of the patient at departure. Send chart to medical record department and inform to the concerned departments. After the patient has gone, the bed should be washed, blankets kept in sunlight, Macintosh washed and dried. The room cleaned, all utensils cleaned and kept ready for next use. In case of infected cases, utensils should be disinfected and then cleaned. The linen should be disinfected and then sent to laundry. When discharging the medical legal cases, the patient dead body should be handed over to the police, before that concerning police station should be informed about the patient's discharge death. Patient or dead body is handed over to the police and asks the police to sign with date and time. Discharge teaching goals. Understand his illness. Complies with his drug therapy. Carefully follows his diet. Manages his activity level. Understands his treatments. Recognizes his need for rest. Knows about possible complications. Knows when to seek follow-up care. Nursing responsibility during patient discharge. Inform the patient and the relatives a day or two before the discharge. Get the discharge slip prepared after checking the vital signs and examining the patient. The nurses should see that the patient's personal hygiene is maintained. He is dressed in home clothes and has taken meals. Hand over the patient's belongings and any valuables, which have been kept safely, to the patient or the relative under proper receipt. Complete the unit admission and discharge registers, case sheet and other records. Hand over the case sheet and other records to medical records to medical record department under proper receipt. Inform the hospital authorities about the discharge if the patient is medical legal. Hand over the discharge slip to the patient or relative and explain about the treatment and the diet to be taken at home. Follow up visits and inform to bring the discharge slip on every visits. Any special advices pertaining to condition. See that the patient receives all the medicines as per discharge slip. Check the hospital things before the patient leaves the ward. Place the patient in the wheelchair or stretcher. According to the patient's condition until he leaves the hospital. Immediately after the patient leaves reorganize the patient unit. So guys, thanks for watching my video. You can like and comment on my video, but don't forget to subscribe my YouTube channel to watch quality content like this. Thank you guys.